Compound is an early access roguelike shooter. It's available for the Vive and Rift for about $20 US. Here's my review of it in its current state as of January 2019. No story, so we'll skip to the gameplay, which involves clearing small procedurally generated maps of enemies and moving on to the next. Being a roguelike, the game features permanent death, meaning that if you die, you start back at ground floor. The combat is limited to gunplay and is executed quite well in my opinion, with bullets travelling slow enough that you can see them coming, but quick enough to still be difficult to dodge. Now for enemy, which include pistol grunts, submachine gun grunts, shotgun grunts, tanks, a variety of drones, and also mechs. As for AI, it's pretty damn relentless. Once spotted, all enemies in the area will be alerted to your presence and will hunt you down. The game also features critical hits when scoring a headshot, which in my opinion should be the bare minimum for any shooter. That brings us to weapons, of which the game offers a fine selection, including a pistol, double barrel shotgun, auto shotgun with bouncy rounds, Submachine gun, rail gun, laser rifle, assault rifle, grenade launcher, and rocket launcher. Each gun has its own quirks, such as spread, rate, and delay, as well as manual reload procedures, a mechanic designed specifically to punish panickers. As for storing guns, each hand is allowed to carry a maximum of two, cycled between via button press. I personally found this to be a bit unwieldy, and would much rather a quick select wheel or holster system. Let's talk health. The game gives you a starting amount of HP, depleted each time you take fire, run out, and you of course perma die. Health can be replenished by eating floating burgers, which are dropped by downed enemies. On to difficulty. The game offers three settings, ranging from what I consider a comfortable level of challenge to an absolute shitstorm out of the gates. Now for locomotion. The game offers both smooth and teleportation as well as artificial rotation, though this needs to be activated in SteamVR settings. That leaves us with graphics, which attempt a tribute to the old 2.5D sprite-based shooters of yester century, and absolutely nail it. As for settings, the game offers options for 1, 2 and 3 times resolution, as well as an option to let the game decide for you. Performance-wise, I had no issues on my 1070. Now for the verdict. As far as skill-based shooters go, this is a serious contender for my favourite in VR. There are a few rough edges, but being an early access, that just comes with the territory. All in all, if you're in the mood for a stripped-back but still well-rounded shooter, this is absolutely worth picking up.